welcome to my channel. My name is Gerilyn, um, and I have this channel to um, connect with you all about the crafty things that I love to do, especially cross stitch. So um, it is December 19th, um, and I've been doing daily videos. Um, for those of you who haven't joined me before, um, it's been a few days uh, since I've been on camera. Um, Finally feeling better, still managing some of the symptoms from a cold or the flu that I had, but doing better. Um, and so to those of you um, who are returning, thank you for all your well wishes. I really appreciated it. It meant a lot um, while I wasn't feeling the best. Um, so I am opening my two stitchy advents today um, from the Loopy U with my Imagined Landscapes Gnome Knit Along and then also my Evertotes holiday countdown. So I am going to insert that right here. All right, it's time to open our December 19 packages and um, review where we're at so far. So my um, holiday countdown, um, Sal, that is put on by Leo and Roxy, Bonner Folk Embroidery, and Evertotes. Um, here is where I am at so far with my stitching. I'm excited. I got um, <clears throat> these snowflakes in and the dog or cat last night. Um, I'm excited to see kind of what comes next. It's like a little, it looks like it's potentially a little bit of a different like band or like kind of than what we've been doing, right? We've been like these little like chunks or little sections of band. This looks like it might be like a little scenery thing, maybe. We'll see. So I'm excited to see kind of like what they have in store for us for the rest of our stitch along. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So officially seven days of um, gifts left um, or patterns and all those things. So um, I'm excited to how it's coming together and really excited to see the finished product. Um, I did order a frame um, this weekend. I measured, now that we have like the full width um, officially and you know the top I did measure to verify kind of what size I would need and I think an 8 by 6 frame is close enough um, that I just bought a stock one um, from Amazon and then I will... Um, stretch it and do all those things myself. It did come with glass. I still have to decide if I want to use glass because I have to figure out how to space the stitching between the glass if I do that. So um, yeah, I'm excited to show you that. And um, we do have knitting to do for our gnome today. It looks like we're finishing up the gnome body that we started quite a few weeks ago that I've been talking about. So I'm excited to see the rest of that gnome um come together and we have a package from the loopy U that goes along with our clue today so i'll open that first it's our 10 10 of 12 packages oh fun it is a little gnome cookie cutter and he looks just like the gnome that is the logo for this stitch along he's got like his stars on the stars on his body so that's really fun. I'll have to put that to good use. Um, all right, so we looked at my stitching. Let's look at day 19. I have it upside down. Here we go. Here's the pattern. Oh, I was expecting like a color, like, well, this is a color, right? Everything has color, but like I was expecting like a green or a red or something else, wasn't necessarily expecting a neutral. So this is T-Bun. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. T-Bun. It's like this like tan, pinky yellow, tan, cream, <laughs> like all the color. I just keep saying, keep saying colors. Um, slight variegation in it. It's going to be, again, pretty close to the, um, linen color, but maybe not quite as close as the previous day. So, all right, we will be using Rudolph for some flowers. That does not look like a heart. I mean, it does, but it's a really horrible heart, which is why I didn't recognize it sideways. Um, so we'll be adding, let's see how we can do this. We'll be adding Rudolph. 
um, and then, oh, actually, okay, so Rudolph will be the snowflakes over here, and also the flower over here, um, and then this color is actually, like, the branches that go along with, um, the flower over here. So just actually a few stitches, really not much at all in this color for right now. Um, and mostly working with Rudolph today, which is fun. I'm glad that like we got a new color, but we get to add, like something that has a little bit more pop than um, a neutral. So let's see. Um, it says that there are 296 stitches in this we must have more coming because there are not, there's like, there's just not, there's maybe, there's maybe 50 at the very, very, very most. And that's just a really approximate guess. So there's more coming of this color in f the future, according to the chart. Um, yeah, it'll be a fun, quick little, relatively quick little stitch today. I think there's quite a bit of Rudolph, but I struggled a little bit with these snowflakes because I don't think when I was first starting to stitch them that I realized they were the same pattern, but I was stitched, I stitched this one first and then I stitched this one like it was a mirror, like it was exactly like this one, not realizing that it, you know, that they were all tilted or rotated to like have them, the centers match, if that makes sense. So um, I learned my lesson there. It took a little bit more time, but, um, I find stitching in hand, and I don't know if this is true, let me know, um, for those of you who don't stitch in hand, you stitch in a, hoop, a frame or a hoop or a scroll frame, um, but when I stitch in hand and I use the sewing method, if my colors are close, I have a really hard time counting stitch it, counting the threads, and I think it's just because it's hard to see exactly where the hole is. Um, and so I even, I think at one point I was like three, I was, I had like three threads underneath one of the stitches and then, yeah, I just, I struggled a little bit, but that's okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So the card says in the depths of winter, I finally learned that within me there lay an invisible summer. And that is by Albert Camus from Return to Tipsa in 1953. Right. Welcome back. I had a friend join me, um, Mrs. Millie. She is our nine-month-old Yorkie. She is a party Yorkie, so she has um, non-standard Yorkie coloring. Um, and she is crazy because she slept all day because she's used to sleeping while I'm at work. And so she sleeps all day and then she's crazy in the afternoon. I think she's just been chasing the cat. So, oh goodness. So she says hello to everyone. Um, all right, so I, um, am excited about the stitching that we have today. Um, I will hopefully get that done. Um, again, I just keep <clears throat> kind of banking on the knitting to be a little bit more, not lax, but like, it's just a little bit more of an opportunity to catch up. Both probably do, but um, my priority has been the cross stitch, keeping up with that because I know that I have a clue every day, and I kind of gamble with uh, the Imagine Landscapes gnome. So um, I will prioritize the cross stitch, and then I will work on whatever knitting that we have today. Um, I it's been a couple days since I have opened um, my gnomes for you my little eventually an advent gnome once I have enough of them so um, I thought I'd open some for you so this one is the next one his name is Clark just a pretty straightforward guy And then my next one is, let's see. Okay, so I'm, I think I went through like a, <laughs> it's, it's funny that I pulled these two out together. So we had Elm Buddy earlier, Buddy the Elf. Um, and then Clark as in um, from a Christmas vacation. And then this is Kevin as in Home Alone, so. There is a little bit of a theme here. So those guys will go on my tree. Um, 
don't think I have a ton more today. Just, I mean, my plans are simple, right? Um, I hope to get some more work done on the stockings that I have been working on as I've been able to um, over the past few days. Um, I still have the dog and the cat's um, band, name band to cross-stitch for that. Um, and we have a... Um, holiday concert tonight uh, for my daughter um, and so we'll be a little bit busy tonight but um, I'm excited to get out of the house it's been a while um, I'm gonna wear my mask just in case I don't think I'm contagious anymore but it's better safe than sorry I don't definitely don't want to share this with anyone um, and hopefully like go to work tomorrow and be back to back to normal um, I had um, it was a pretty I did okay getting through work today. Let's just say that. Um, I think it's just, you know, when you, after you've been sick for so long, like it's hard to like do a full eight hours without feeling a little run down. So um, I was very blessed to be able to work from home um, today to kind of gradually get back into the swing of things. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully over the next couple days, I'll keep improving and feeling like I have a little bit more time to bring some of that extra bonus content that I've been thinking about that I've mentioned before. Um, so yeah, I hope you are all well. Um, I did want to chat just a little bit about uh, the holiday time. Um, I just want to recognize that, you know, all of this for the most part for me has been very festive, right? Even through my sickness, I've used this as like a way to be festive and cheerful and happy. Um, and I just want to recognize that it, this time of year isn't always that way for everyone, especially all of the time. And so like if that you're one of those people, like I, I see you um, and I'm here for you. Um, and if you need anything, please just reach out. Um, I know that the holidays aren't happy for everyone. Um, and that's okay. Um, I just hope that this provides you an outlet for, 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 um, you know, engaging and connecting with someone who shares similar interests. Um, and that there's not a ton of pressure for you to feel a certain way, but that you just are who you are. Um, and that you know that there's a community here that will support you. So, um, I hope you all are well, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.